You know, we had the smoke going for Tim Robbins. We should have it going I here for this know. now. I would love to hear his music playing in the background while I tell my story. We'll work on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll work on still that. Here. Uh, Kat's written a new book called Cooking As Fast As I Can. Yeah, she talks about her career, but also about her past. She really talks about her past. She goes all in about how she was adopted, growing up gay in the South, and even early childhood abuse. You just... It's so raw, so candid, but if you're going to write a memoir, you might as well, right? That's, you know, that's what I thought when, you know, I was approached by Simon & Schuster to do a memoir. I really had to process it because I'm kind of an all-in kind of girl. And so I really felt like um, I wasn't going to sugarcoat it because my life hasn't been sugarcoated. And yeah. although on the glossy magazine covers and on TV it seems like a perfect life, you know, I have adversity just like everyone else. Now, you chose to, though, mm -hmm. go into detail very intimate detail about your sexual awakening and all of that. Was there at any moment where you thought, well, this is a little too much? Well, that's what I have my editors and publisher for. <laughs> they would have reeled me in. And, I, you know, there were times, I mean, we had a lot of back and forth about, is this too much information? Is it, um, is it too candid? Is it too raw? And, again, you know, and we did. And there were things that we, you know, reeled in some, and there were things that I went a little more, yeah. leaned into it, you know, uh -huh. because I just felt like it wasn't told well, enough. After having read it, um, what did you reel in? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, you held something back? Well, you know. <laughs> That'll be book two. Okay. The second course is going to be called. Uh, so um, th this is, you know, there's a, the word that I get tired of hearing all the time. It's a journey. Life is a journey. This is a journey. It's, it is a journey for you psychologically and geographically as well. Right. Because your roots we still hear them when you speak. You're still that girl, aren't you? I still am. I'm still little Kathy Core from Mississippi. And, you know, I've, and I love, you know, I have a wonderful family around me um, that, that keeps me grounded. I have four beautiful boys that keep me grounded. And I love being little Kathy Core from Mississippi. I think that um, it reminds me of where I came from. It reminds me of the values that I've was taught by my parents um, and uh, what I've gone through to get where I'm at. You know, I'm self-made. Um, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. I worked for everything I have, and I'm proud of that. So growing well up. Well said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right off the top of my head. Well, and, you you know, it, yeah. But I mean, I, that's true. I feel like, you know, um, I'm a working mother. I'm a hardworking yeah. mother. I'm a sole breadwinner for six people, for my wife and four kids. And, um, and I'm proud of what I've been able to if accomplish. I'm living the American dream. If you don't have a wife and, and four kids, I think you'd still be working just as hard. Yeah, it's, it's your nature. I would. Yeah. Don't you think? I would. My parents worked hard. They were yeah. hard working. My mom was a nurse. My dad was a school teacher. They, you know, we grew up with very little money. Um, it was just a lot of love in our house and hard work. And your mom would have uh, two jobs, three jobs, whatever. Yeah. But she still included everybody. Included everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and everything that you've overcome in your life, it's probably kind of fueled the fire to keep you motivated and mm -hmm. determined, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, uh, talking about the early childhood abuse, I mean, yeah. that really fueled a lot of fire in me. You were six years old. Yeah, I was six years old, and um, it fueled, I think, um, you know, because you live with a lot of shame yeah. and a lot of guilt for many, many years. Although it wasn't my fault, you live with that, and it takes years. It's a lifelong road um, of healing, and um, that's why I'm so open to talk about this because I think this is the response I've gotten mostly from people who've read the book how is much, that how they've much, uh, dealt with this. Mm -hmm. How much has that kind of told the story of your life that you were abused when you were young? Mm -hmm. How important that in, in your whole life story, how important is that? I think it's extremely important. I think when you are a six-year-old child and you lose your innocence and you are betrayed uh, and you have shame your whole life, it really is, um, you're a survivor. You're building the foundation of your life based on that. You're healing from that your whole life. Um, it can be the reason you're successful. It can be the reason that you take a wrong path. Mm -hmm. It can be the reason why um, I talk about um, various things that along the way that have happened in my life, some good, some missteps, some successes. It's all part of that woven past that I continuously try to heal from and also talk about because I think this is something we need to talk right. about before it happens to our children. The hiding and the shame. The hiding and the shame. Yeah. The it, it, and the shame. itself, right? It is. Yeah. It, is, it yeah. is. It is such a debilitating 
thing mm -hmm. is to hide yes. it and to put yeah. it under the carpet. And I always urge parents, talk to your kids before anything happens. Give them some, you know, give them some navigational tools in this world to protect their body and to have a voice. And so they don't feel okay. alone. All right, yeah. so it's not just so a cookbook, good to folks. See you. Um, yeah, yes. oh, it's a life story. Um, we hope you come back. We're not going to push it. We have an okay time yeah. with you. Well, now that you're playing yeah. a little hard to get, you know I will. You know what? You were, you were <laughs> It was fair. all right. It was all right. Fair. Okay? Um, I was. Right. Cooking as fast as I can is out now. You, you know, can get it at Amazon.com. And Amazon.com. Amazon.com. Right. So, you know, if you ever want to come back again. Yeah, we'll be here. I'm coming back tomorrow. What are you what? talking about? We don't want I'll you that back. sick. We don't want you that sick. <laughs> you know where we'll we right work. Back. You know where we are.